Rosie Evenson and her sisters captured the attention and hearts of millions when their bond with their garbage men went viral last year. That's when Rosie's parents shared the story about her stage four cancer diagnosis. A journey of doctor's appointments, setbacks and small victories, and now a milestone. Reporter Jennifer Mayerly caught up with the family. Hold on, Grace, here you go. Everyone has a swing, so it's kind of perfect. Days like this fill the Evensons with joy. The little things matter most. I'm so grateful to just see them all having fun together and just being together. Doing kid stuff? Yes, yes, normal kid, yes. Yeah! All four kids, Grace, Rose, Sophia, Ooh. and Lincoln. <laughs> That's a new way. Love their new swing set. It arrived this fall when Make-A-Wish granted four-year-old Rosie's wish. And so these three. Her wish was a huge swing set <laughs> with four swings. Here it comes and two slides. You're supposed to go down together. Doctors diagnosed Rosie with stage four kidney and lung cancer in September of 2016. Not too fast, Daddy. The year-long journey has felt endless. I'm getting a little too dizzy. Uh -oh. yeah. But Faith and friends have helped ease the worry. Uh. At the end of the day, that was all that we had to hold on to was those two things, the support of people and, and our faith in Christ. <laughs> It's a puppy. It was during that time the Evensons bonded with the men who pick up their garbage. The garbage truck is here. The girls race to the window weekly to wave. There it is. I found it with my binoculars. <laughs> there, baby. It's awesome. Thursdays we wait, wait for this street. The guys looked forward to their smiling faces. See if you can get them to wave. When they later learned of Rosie's diagnosis, they offered the family complimentary garbage service. Their way to lighten the load. A simple act of kindness that was both unexpected and overwhelming. I started crying on the, because that was, uh, you know, it was only a few weeks out from the diagnosis. Can you catch? For the first time since hearing the word cancer in the same sentence as their daughter's name, this summer, doctors added another word. Oh, yes. Free. <laughs> you made it. No evidence of disease, they call it. The tumors in her lungs were all gone and in her abdomen. You're so excited inside, but like you're kind of cautiously optimistic, I guess. The words cancer-free ended the year of quarantine and allowed the Evensons to return to family time outside. Just trying to get back to normal, whatever that is. Hey, Rose. Rosie can still spot the garbage truck rounding the corner. Here's the garbage truck. This time from a new perch. It's wonderful to not have to worry about exposure to everything. Should I give him a high five and then you can give him a high five? It's these moments. You go like this to him, like this, like that. The ones when they're all together. <laughs> Are you being shy today? <laughs> this See you guys. is what they prayed for. Bye. <laughs> a little laughter. That's sweet music to our ears. Yes, it is. <laughs> After a lot of tears. That's what we live for is to hear that now. Jennifer Merrily. <laughs> WCCO 4 News. <laughs> Rosie has scans every three months and will for years to come. The Evensons say if this type of cancer comes back, it usually within two years. So while they're rejoicing in Rosie's health now, they're very much aware of the road ahead. Millions took interest in the Evensons' journey after our original story aired last year. We have information on a Facebook page that you can follow called Pray for Rosie. Just head to our website at valleynewslive.com and click on this story. It's certainly a good one. UND men's hockey in action tonight. We'll have highlights from the Ralph later in sports. But first, some things you'll want to consider so you don't get scammed while online shopping during Cyber Monday.